When I first made the lathe I decided to make the tailstock with a, a dead centre which I show how I made in the previous films. I did make two of these tailstocks, this being the, the second one and what I want to do is I'd like to put a live centre in this and to do that I'm going to use my old friend the famous little bicycle and I've taken the front wheel spindle out of it and I'm going to see if I can fit it into the tailstock and make a very cheap but very effective live centre. So the first thing I want to do is to mark the, the position for the centre in the two faces of the tailstock. And let's drill the first side. Unfortunately for the second side, because of the asymmetry of the tailstock, I can't use the same length drill. So I'm just going to use this longer drill bit just to mark the face. Before I do any more drilling, the thing I will have to do now is reduce the width of this block of wood because the wheel spindle is a little bit narrower than the wood. So I'm just going to saw off a, a length down there and then I'll be able to drill it. Now I've got the tail stock cut to the right thickness. I've now got a counterboard, two holes, one each side, to accommodate the housing for the ball race. Now the tail stock's been counterboard both sides. I'm now going to drill a pilot hole right the way through the tail stock and then I'll drill it out with a, the 13mm required for the spindle. Right, so here comes the big boy. There's the clear the through hole and the counter bore. So the next operation is to saw this along the centre line of the drilled hole so that then we can fit the spindle into place. So that's the tail stock cut into two pieces. Let's put the, uh, the wheel spindle in. That's nice. That's good. So we'll put the capping block on, put the cap block on. Clamp that down and that will be our centre. Now what I've got to do is take the spindle apart, grease up the bearings because they'll be quite dirty and I'll also put a point on the one side of the spindle to act as the engagement point with the timber. Okay so I'm ready once again now with the spindle shaft to grind the centre point onto it and we can reassemble it. Now I'm onto the last lap. I've clamped the top of the block to hold the spindle into place with these two sash cramps. All I'm going to do now is just Hold the top plate, top block in place with two pieces of wood screwed to the upper and lower part of the assembly.
So there it is in place and it rotates nicely. If you enjoyed this and other Sue and Andy films, perhaps you'd like to think about joining us on Patreon. You can support us for as little as $1 a month and for that you'll get access to all our new projects. There's a direct link to our Patreon site at the end of this film. Meanwhile, thanks for watching.